what's going on family down here at the, I think this is the 24 unit, but they're all connected. But one of the 24 unit buildings here with the brick uh, that we have here. We're turning this one over and uh, complete rental on this. So we're gonna update the, uh, the countertops. You can see the guys in there that's working through um, everything. We're gonna re reuse that, clean that stove up that was horribly filthy um, and get it cleaned up so we can keep it, which the white appliances are fine in here. We're gonna go back with the vinyl plank floor in there with kind of the, uh, the light gray and we have the gray on the wall and take this, this uh, original tile up off the floor and level it off and do the same flooring. So this is one of our two bedroom floor plans that we have and then actually it runs all the way in here. So we're gonna just take the vinyl plank floor. And that's one of the cool things I like with the, the vinyl plank. You can lay it all on top of this and then just raise up with the padding in the bedrooms and it'll be all level and um, consistent. And then we're gonna also, we're gonna resurface. So you don't have to replace your tubs um, when you have like this going on. So when we use the epoxy paint come in and completely resurface this and uh, it's gonna look brand new. As well as we got a little technique that we use on the countertops to make it look like granite and we're gonna paint those white and uh, it'll be all good. But uh, overall, it's been a good trip down here to Montgomery real quick. I do a lot, I'll do a day trip probably once every six weeks um, since we just got a lot of renovations that's going on um, as we're pushing to this, uh, this cash out refinance coming up. But this trip here, we um, we had some vandalism. Of course, you guys that's been following the journey already know that that uh, we had to get um, another estimate with the electrician. I'll tell y'all, I got a crazy high estimate from uh, one of the local electrician vendors that the PM recommended. So I was like, hey, let me call somebody else up. Shout out to my brother-in-law who's an electrician and knows this stuff. And I knew some things too. When I looked at the estimate, I'm like, I already knew. I'm like, I walked my units. I know I don't have to replace all the circuit breakers in every unit to the tune of like $4,500 per unit to update the electric. I'm like, no, yeah, we had some vandalism to take in the circuit. But if you're one thing for those that know, that don't know, like as long as you don't disturb the circuit between the, uh, the breaker and the outlet anywhere in between, then you don't have to go through and update to arc fault um, detecting breakers in there to the new standard, your grandfather did. And so common sense like that, I knew that and I questioned it and I'm like, okay, let's, let's get another estimate and uh, it's gonna be considerably less than what the other estimate where they just said we could artificially say, yep, we gotta update all the panels in all these buildings, 4,500 a building plus this other stuff. I'm like, yeah, no, you're not getting over them because I'm an operator. I know what I've been doing, been doing this for years and years and uh, we run into different um, issues and challenges and we have experience. And so experience allows you to be able to know when a vendor's trying to maybe not necessarily be untruthful, but trying to push additional work and scope that's not needed. So that was a great one to come down for that. Um, we're finishing up on the 40 unit, the last five units, we're turning those over, we're getting the flooring installed. And uh, we had a stall out with another vendor that was working and uh, it took them over six weeks and hadn't updated the floor and I pulled the plug on it and brought in my guys that I knew would travel, that are reliable, that can get the work done. And we got flooring in three units over the weekend. And so it's the things like that, it's just being, have an operational mindset and focus where you can't just sit behind the spreadsheets. You can't just sit behind the numbers and the models and say, hey, we're going to buy it for X, we're going to renovate it, and then we're going to refinance. It's like, it's work in between. You know, you get there's issues and challenges, there's vandalism in between, there's different property management companies that you have to go through to get to the right one in between. And it's the being hands on and being able to make decisions uh, when you got shortage on materials, when you got different things come up and challenges with your residents that you have to manage that whole entire process. And that's what we do with REI Genes. We say change your lives through real estate because I've I personally changed my own life and my family's life with real estate, and now I teach other people how they can do the same thing. And it's been truly rewarding and uh, just seeing the progress with so many of my clients, you know, from buying multi units to living one, doing a house hacking strategy, um, you know, walking their own multifamilies that they've been able to buy, buying raw land to build and, you know, fixing and flipping multiple homes simultaneously. And the list goes on with just the level, you know, learning how to underwrite deals and like you hadn't even got your deal yet, but you're walking properties, you're underwriting deals that you know the process to go through as an investor. And it's just priceless to be able to have that skill set ability built over time. So that's what we're doing. Um, it's, it's been a, a heck of a journey. We're getting there. We're almost done. 
with less than 90 days from our cash out refinance for the whole entire 96 unit portfolio here in Montgomery. It's going to be a great day um, to do that with for myself and my partners um, that's going along for the ride with me and for our team. So I'm just super excited about that and uh, everything that comes with it. But you got to get started. It all starts with one deal. I remember my first multifamily deal I found on the MLS and uh, it changed a lot, you know, to be able to go through that full term, full cycle, get all the capital back out, refinance it, then move and buy other apartment buildings in other areas and uh, just continue to build well. But guess what? It takes a team, your contractors, your property management company, other investor partners that's in the deals with you, uh, your attorney, your family, the sacrifices when you're missing games and stuff like that, traveling to check on the projects and everything. And uh, but it's worth it. It's definitely worth it in the long run. But it takes work. There's no such thing as passive income without active income. Because if you think it just starts passive from day one, you're sadly wrong, my friend. That it takes a lot of commitment and work to get it to the point where it's passive. And uh, that's what it's all about. So if you guys are want to on the fence, you want to tap in, you want to learn more about the REI Genius community, what we're building, what we're doing, how we're buying these assets, and building generational wealth, then tap in. And, uh, and do it. I know it gets kind of cliche. People say generational wealth, but, it, it, but that's what it is because it's true. I got my, actually, this trip here, I got the kids with me out in the truck on this video. Um, but they've been walking the complex. This is their first time ever seeing the units, walking through the units, and then just letting them know and having that conversation that, hey, you own this. This isn't the family. And this is what this is all about. This cash flow, this passive income, it comes to you. And so just understand the legacy and bills like, hey, when I'm leaving out of town, I say, I'm going to see the apartments. This is where I'm at. This is what I'm doing. And this is why it's serious that I have to make those sacrifices and not be there all the time to actually be in the streets and actually here making sure everything is going right. You know, and so it's a couple of things that I, I pointed out that when I saw here, like, hey, we got this unit. We need a one bedroom floor plan added to the website. Then we also we got to have our listings added to the military homes dot meal. Um, if you're in the military, if you own real estate and you're in the military town, you need to be on homes dot meal where your vacancy can be on the website. So um, military members that's moving to the area, that's where the housing office pushes them if they're not going to live on base. So things like that where we got just, hey, always the, the little bit of deep, minute details that we got to focus on to make sure that we're operating in the right space and making sure that we're putting everything out there. You know, I had to go out and straighten the signs up on the road with our road signs was people were driving by, picked up a little bit of trash. And um, yeah, that's what it is. Putting in the work, active. And uh, that's it. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned, stay locked in, follow the journey as we lead up to retirement in less than 15 months from the world's greatest Air Force. Um, we're launching Line of Capital later this year. Um, with our private equity fund to buy more real estate. So I'm super excited about that. We're cashing out and refinancing these apartments. And uh, we're getting it done, y'all. We're getting it done. 2024 has been a great year, phenomenal year. And uh, I know the future is going to be bright. Let's go. Let's make some equity happen. Make sure y'all stay tapped in.